What's up, good people? How you doing? Welcome to Stock Up with Larry Jones. If you're new to the page, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you've been rolling with me for a while, go ahead and hit the like button. Huh, another day. Another day. It's it's getting rough, man. It's getting rough. I get it. I understand it. I'm in it with you guys. I want to tell you guys that in you know, well over 20 years, actually 25 years that I've been in the market, I mean, actively the last 20 years, I will tell you that this year I made the biggest investments I've ever made. And I've put in more liquidity into the market that I have ever have in my entire life. So when I tell you that I feel the pain also, I do too. So let's just look at what, what's happening. The Dow dipped as much as 722 points. It had a 900 point swing today, the Dow alone, right? Even though I, I pay more attention lately to the uh, S&P, right? Tesla down 30% from its highs, 30% from its highs. And um, so, yeah, I, uh, I just looked at Tesla and I bought a share. And um, for those of you that's able to do fractional shares, I, I think it's just going to I think it's going to fall lower than it is now. And you may say, why did you buy a share then? Um, um, I'm doing something called dollar cost averaging in. So, like I said, no one has a crystal ball. No one knows where the absolute bottom is. OK, so tech just had a total wreck today. Tech had a wreck. So the Dow, so you had um, uh, the Fed spoke. And let me tell you guys something. Every time the Fed has spoke over the last 20 years, I get nervous. I'm like, please, just don't say anything. He really didn't say anything that he hasn't been saying. He didn't say anything outrageous. He actually was just really just doing his job. But every time the Fed speaks, the market just don't like it. 80% of the times, it seems like, there is a negative reaction to the market. So uh, treasury yields uh, rising. OK, um, uh, uh, the threat, the threat of high interest rates and inflation, just what's caused the market to just have its have its way. All right. So when the treasury yields are down, that's actually better for the market. When the treasury yields are up, it's actually not good for the market. I'll be honest with you guys. I want everything bad that's going to happen to the market to just happen all at the same time. I know y'all, I know y'all with me. I just want it all to happen at the same time. And so instead of us ripping the bandaid off slowly and just filling every hair prick, just rip it off. Just, just, <laughs> but the reality is in a lot of ways, it's actually better and safer for it to take the time that it's taken. It gives you guys time to make your adjustments, right? And so with all of this that's happening, so I just can't get in here and like, hey, another great day. No, it wasn't. But I do know that we are getting close to, to the bottom. I see some key indicators that we're getting close. Uh, like I forestated, I, I think I think by the mid, and this is me, everybody's giving their own, everybody thinks differently, I think, by the middle of March, we should be over. I'm praying that it's sooner, but I, I believe that, you know, 16, 17, 18th of March, it should be over. And um, it's only a guess. No one knows, not even the professional knows. But I will tell you this, if you got money in the market right now, I will tell you, people, there are hedge funds that won't even look at you unless you got a half a million or actually a million dollars. They won't even look your way. You couldn't even call them. You can't even, there's no number to contact them unless you got a million to invest. They're losing money. Anybody in the stock market right now is losing money. So I want to let you know that if you just got in and you think you're doing something wrong, nope. Every play or plan that you have, everything that I've, all of the stock that we were making a killing on as a family, they all getting hit just like every other YouTuber, every stock is getting hit. So there was nobody affected by this. I always say when a whale splashes, everybody gets wet. This, the whale has splashed. Fat lady has saying everybody's getting splashed and everybody's feeling this pain. 
um, and it just keeps going down, down, down. Now, you got one or two things you could do. And I, I like to shoot it to you straight because I want to be with you guys through this tumultuous time. I don't want to just go silent and then come back up when we're in another bull market. I just want to, I want to navigate with you guys and, you know, be transparent like I have been. I will tell you this. You got one or two things. Well, you can actually do three things. You can actually sell everything, right? And lock in your losses. But now there are some times when you have to sell at a loss. Okay. There are specific times when you do that, right? You could either buy more stock, buy the dips. Money's not limited. Limitless. I hear you. Like how much money you think I got, Larry? I hear you. Trust me. I hear you, you know, and, or you could sit still. And so, uh, the latter of the two are what you really should be doing more of sitting still and buying dips. And so what I'm doing is I'm dollar cost averaging in, and I'm going to show you, you guys, I had a vote. Uh, uh, I got four stock that I'm dollar cost averaging in spending $200 a day. And I'm going to do it until the 16th. And so I'm going to buy the same stock, the same four stock I'm buying every day, um, $50 a piece all the way up until the 16th. So I could literally do a case study to really just dollar cost average in. And that's the, the, if you're going to be spending money, it is the safest way to do it. And that way, you know, you got a big, big price. Now here's the, here's the reality of it. If it was, if it's a V shaped recovery, it could take off and you would be thinking, Hey, I should have bought all of this down there. No one has a crystal ball, but now if you buy it all right now, it could dip even further. So that's why the safest way to do is to dollar cost average in buy up here, buy down here, buy up here, buy down here, buy down here, buy down here, buy up here. It's the safest way. So that's what I'm showing you guys. We took a vote between Mara and Zometica, Z-O-M, and you guys overwhelmingly said Z-O-M, so I bought a share of Z-O-M today, and uh, along with A-B-L-M-A-B-M-L, C-C-I-V, and Palantir. So I bought the stock uh, again today, and I'm gonna buy them um, every day until the 16th, and that's what I'm gonna do. So, um, and we're gonna just look at it, and you can use it as a case study. So I wanna tell you guys this, I want to look at you and tell you, those of you that's new, because if you've been in the market for over 10 years, I want you to go to your disciplines. I want you to just go to your disciplines. And one of my key disciplines is, and I'm going to stick by it is, when the market tanks like this, treat it like you're a new investor. Treat it like you just got in the market. Because for those of you that's been sitting on the sideline and you haven't gotten the market, this is the absolute best time for you to get in the market, right? So just think about it. A lot of you guys got in. The reason why a lot of you guys are here because it was a what? It was a bull market, right? And so we bought up here. And what happens is when if there's a correction or a crash and then people want to get out, you actually should be doing the polar opposite. You should actually be stronger towards the bottom because I could tell you right now, if you're in a solid company, you're going to make all of your money back. Just about, if you're in a good solid company, you're going to most likely make all your money back. Now, personally, I think tech is going to continue to, to take it in the chin. Wham, wham. But tech over the next three years, I mean, actually five to 10 years is going to have the biggest gains. EVs are here to stay. They're not going anywhere. That, that market cap is not getting smaller. I don't care about the chip problem. That's all going to get worked out the battery problem, that's all going to get worked out and it's here to stay. And that's an emerging market. And so now you're able to buy stuff. Look at Tesla, look at where you can buy Tesla today. And so look at CCIV, look at Neo, look at, look at all of these EV, EVs, look at where you can buy them today. So I did buy a share of Tesla and I'm going to dollar cost average in. I don't have it in this portfolio, but I am going to dollar cost average in on Tesla. So that's what I want to tell you guys. Now's the time to look at your portfolios and see what adjustments I need to have. This, this, the information I'm giving you is better than just yelling out new stock. Right now, I could spend one hour 
and just give you stock after stock after stock after stock after stock. That is the lowest it's been this year. I know this is only March. I can, you pick a stock and look at it. It's, it's, so I could just say, stand here and just shout at you like these kids be doing. Yeah, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. It's not the time for that, good people. It's the time to get smart. So now what we got to do is look for good stock that are long-term plays. Now, when I say long-term plays, family, I don't know why we don't make investing sexy. A lot of new investors just look for the sexy stock. And you know what? Um, it's like, you know, it's like when you, 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 you get the fine girl, right? You know, the other girl sitting there, you know, she's smart. You know, she, she knows how to, how to balance a checkbook. <laughs> she, she know two and two is four. She can actually, you know, uh, have a good grown up conversation with you, but you want to find shit. I'm talking to you fellas right now. You want to find shit. That's all you want is to find shit, right? And she can't cook. She can't have a five minute conversation with you, but she fine. Ladies, y'all gotta, y'all gotta pick the geeks. <laughs> That's gonna make you rich. Y'all got he wears suspenders. He got a, you know, he ain't the cool dude. He don't, he don't drag. He, he, he don't dress all swagged out, but that's the way we got to pick stock right now. And those are investments, right? Long-term what's going to be good long-term what's undervalued right now or oversold right now. And there's a lot of those stock out there, but they're not the sexy ones. They're, they're not the SPACs. They're not, well, they're banks. Look at banks, pick one Citibank. Um, 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 um pick a bank. Just pick a bank and you got it. You they're doing good right now because they think rates are going to go up. And that's good for banks. If you got $10,000 that you want to put in the market right now, don't have FOMO. Spread it out. I'm going to say it. I think I'm going to be the only one that says this. Spread it out over 10 days. Spend a thousand dollars a day if you got $10,000. Spread it out over 10 days. Dollar cost average in. It's the safest thing to do. And I want to protect you guys. And I want you guys to get these stock at the lowest price. But like I said, I think by mid March, uh, uh, like, like within the third week of March, we should be through correcting. That's what I see. I pray that it's before March 15th, but that's what I see. But you look at another page, they'll tell you something different. You have to do your own research, but no one has a crystal ball. Not even these billion dollar hedge fund managers. They, no one knows. Okay. But I will tell you this. I know I keep saying, but better days are coming. I tell you that I tell you, I am not, I haven't panic sold one stock. And I can tell you this, I've been through enough corrections to know that it, it comes back. It always does. 2008 was way worse than this. And it came back. It came back. Everybody that held, it came back. I know people was cashing out their 401ks, but it came back. And then I was reading an article today about worry. And I want to tell you guys, do you realize only 8% of all your worry ever comes true? So let's talk about numbers. Let's talk about that number. 8%. So if you're looking at your portfolio and it's a bloodbath, only 8% of the worst case and scenarios that go on your head, it will come true. Those of us that got kids, they go out and you call them, you know, my, my, mine is gone. Thank God, grown and gone. But if you call them nothing and you call them again, nothing and your mind start running these scenarios of the worst case and scenario. That's what's happening now with this anxiety with the market. But I will tell you this, if you're going to sell or panic sell, or if you're going to lock, lock in any losses, Take a snapshot of where that stock price is today and then pull it up a month from now because this is the time in the season for us to be learning because I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of you guys that just got in, you're going to get scared. You're going to say the stock market is not for me. I got in at the absolute worst time and you're going to miss your blessing for long term gains and creating wealth. That's why I keep uh, stressing two things. Stay diversified in different sectors and different areas 
and invest as well as trade. Okay, good people. So I'm gonna go over this right quick. As you see here, uh, American battery today is down 6%. So I'm down 8%, right? CCLV up 1.46%, but still down 41%. Palantar uh, up 3%. Zometica, thanks to you guys, I'm up 1.3%, all right? But total, I am down 1.85% in this portfolio. I will be buying these stock every day um, until the 16th. I suggest if you have just a Robin Hood, which a lot of uh, new investors just do, open up a Weeble account, open up a Fidelity account. Matter of fact, I would say open up a, a Weeble rather than a Fidelity because if you got Robin Hood, you're able to buy fractional shares. I think everybody out there needs an app where they can buy fractional shares because you can dollar cost average in with the amount of money that you want to spend, right? But with Weeble, you're able to start trading and viewing stock hours before the stock market opens and hours after it closed. You could get, and here's why that's more important today than it ever has been. There could, there could be some record breaking news that happens tonight that you know for sure is going to affect tomorrow's stock market price or to, uh, tomorrow's stock price, right? Um, something really good just happened to a company post. You can literally uh, buy that stock tonight or you can buy it early and as, as early as five o'clock in the morning before the market opens with Weeble and you could see the charts in real time. So that's why I suggest Weeble. That's why I leave you a link in the description below. Not only that, they will give you two free stock, one up to worth $1,850 for you just depositing uh, $100. And yes, I get a free stock too, but it ain't $1,850, tell you that. Uh, but it helps to support the page, but more importantly, you guys have tools that will make you money, all right? Hey, I'm gonna keep coming to you guys if I have anything new, but this is something very important. For those of you that's been rolling with me for a while, go ahead and hit that like button. And man, I'm gonna tell you, we gonna dance after a while. We gonna have a party. I'm telling you, just uh, look, look at all of the corrections and the crashes. Go back in time and look before you make any decisions and look at what always happened. There's always a recovery. All right. Love you guys. Live, love, laugh, and learn.